Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, President Wang, uh, my friend, Ms. Santin, uh, Excellencies. South Africa is slowly recovering from the devastating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic as reflected in our recent uh, growth and job statistics. At the same time, we are also recovering from a severe impact of climate change. As you might have heard, we are experiencing droughts on the eastern side and fires on the western side. In April, we had very severe floods on the in Devon and the eastern side. Ladies and gentlemen, in dealing with this public health crisis, the global community has learned the hard way that the pandemic does not respect borders or national protectionism, but requires our coordinated response and solidarity. Science and access to affordable vaccines are decisive factors in winning the war against the virus. Our Trade Minister Patel welcomed the recent uh, <clears throat> compromise deal reached at WTO as a practical outcome that will help developing countries to react quickly to new variants. South Africa believes these new or emerging global threats require strong leadership, coordinated responses, and solidarity. Will not be safe until <clears throat> prosperous, until everyone is safe and have access to basic needs. Excellencies, South Africa is looking to a stronger practice of multilateralism, effective inclu and inclusive global governance to support the vulnerable. The UN must play a leading role. We are also participating in other important forums such as G20 and BRICS. <coughs> China, <coughs> as the current share of the BRICS partnership, will be hosting the summit later this week. BRICS has been playing an leading role in dealing with global challenges and coordinating efforts to support multilateralism, promoting fairer international trade, global growth, and developmental agenda. BRICS has been in the forefront of regional and global efforts to contain the impact of the pandemic. At the greatest time, some of its institutions, like the New Development Bank, has played most uh, as pledged most needed resources to deal with the pandemic. It is also allocating significant resources to mitigate climate change and funding new infrastructure. As I conclude, uh, Mr. Chairman, my expectation of these global efforts is that we should promote multilateral cooperation and rules, strengthen macroeconomic coordination, mitigate climate change, and work together to foster an open, low carbon and innovative world economy. We should reopen borders to improve mobility and tourism. This is very important, particularly for developing countries, because tourism plays a critical role for employment and growth in the developing country. We should. Uh, uh, maintain a steady and unimpeded industrial and supply chains to enhance economic recovery. All these efforts must be done with a view to achieve stronger and sustainable global development. I wish this forum great success. I thank you.